Welcome back everyone to another episode of Let's Play Dragon Quest XI S on Nintendo Switch. Last episode we helped out Prince Ferris with his little problem and we restored peace to Gondol not Gondolia, to Galopolis. Gondolia is the next area we're going to be going off to. And we have a new friend, Silvando, who has decided to join us. He's a jester with a mysterious background. We don't know much about him yet. But he seems nice enough, so I think we can trust him. Anyway, we're going to be starting off here in uh, Galopolis. Last episode we did entirely in 2D mode, and it was, well, it was more than difficult. It was very stressful, and I'm surprised we managed to do it so quickly, defeat the, the monster. So we're going to head off. Okay, so he's, people here still kind of forgive uh, Prince Ferris. Let's see what his fangirls are saying. Okay, let's let's head off into the wilderness to go to Gondolia now. And here are my friends. Where's Silvando? Oh, he doesn't. You only have three people following you around at a time. So, Silvando is over there. Let's see what my little friend here has to say. Yes. <laughs> that outfit is so... <laughs> that outfit is so great. Yeah, well, I do wonder what his story is. What's the deal? How does he have his own ship? Well, it looks like everyone's taking kindly to Silvando. Uh, what is it? Hey. Let's head to Gondolia. Okay, so Eric is in his black, edgy outfit with the fur on it. Let's let's summon the horse. My trusty steed, fitting for a knight. So yeah, three, 2D mode is great and all, but I think we're gonna stick with 3D mode from now on, for the most part. We might we might go back to 2D mode a few times, but we're gonna do mostly 3D from here on out. It's just you know. I don't know, I like it a little more. It's a little more fun. Look, look you, you can't run around like a huge field like with all this detail in the 2D mode. And also, the random encounters I'm a little sick of. And I know I'm supposed to be like this old school Dragon Quest fan, but random encounters are not a great thing. They were, you know, they were there because of technical issues. Dragon Quest has abandoned random encounters for years, for over 10 years at least. Almost 10 years. Alright, let's see what this guy has to say. All right, and this this must be a Hakim. Yeah, we already talked to him in the two D mode. He has a sister named Akia. She works at the bakery. We're gonna take his quest. All right, nice. Eat the lovely letter request. Let's head on through. Deafness. I can't wait for this next part. Oh wow, the Laguna di Gondolia. Look at all that, that water. There's some monsters here too. We'll try to avoid them. Oh crap. Is he trying to follow me? Now I heard if you if you run into them, don't they get, get like knocked over or something? The small the small enemies. Oh neat. A campsite. Uh. Yeah, I don't think we need to camp for now. I think we're good. Let's go up here. I'm not sure if we're in the right place. Looks like the horse can't follow us. Well, at least my friends are here. Oh, right. The lineup. You can change the lineup now, right? So my, stand my standby team is Silvando, but... He's a pretty tough guy, though. I think maybe we'll swap out Serena for him. Because he does have... Let's try it out. What do you have to say? Hey, listen. Hey, listen. <laughs> old boots. Hey, honey. 
Okay, okay, buddy. Let's keep going. Now this is a very long winding part. Oh crap. Stay away from me. Oh no, muddy hand. You do not want to run into those muddy hands. They will not give up. Oh, there's a treasure chest there. Now, we need one of these guys. So we're going to attack him. Got him. Now let's see how good Sylv is in, in action. Oh, see, this is why I don't like money hands. They always call for backup. Let's just bang. All right, here we go. There's these two. Got him. See, I do not like this one bit. All right, we're gonna do bang one more time. Oh, I'm not controlling Silvando right now. All right, we gotta, we gotta kill this guy in one hit before he, he calls his buddies. All right, we got him. The group of enemies are defeated. His level increases level 13. Three skill points. Uh, yeah, actually, I do want to use my skill points. The character builder. It's acting like I never saw this before. All right, we want this dragon slash, and that is miracle slash. But what we really want is this. That'll make us way more powerful. All right, so now we can really run around fast and grab some stuff. Royal soil, uh, here we go, a chest. Eat a skill, nice. Kinda want those buzz berries, but not if there's a flag on there. Pink pine, flurry feather and a, and a wing. Oh crap, I did not see that. All right, we'll try, uh, do, well, actually, it's not going to be good. Don't call back up. Don't you dare call back up. We're going to sizz these guys. And we're going to bang. Did she just say Sizz? Wait, they, they actually t say the spell now? That's weird. Oh. So you can jump over the water with this. I'm looking at this. Gondolia's over there. The 2D version was a little bit, um... I can't continue this way while mounted. Fine, I'll dismount. Or whatever, we'll head on over. Oh, look, there's mice there. Oh, what is this? Time waits for no man, but we have a plan. It may require a caravan. Tickety talk. Tick tock. Why, if it isn't a luminary, I would just indulge in this spot of singing. It helps lift the spirits. Oh, cool. A password. Observatory via the Altar to Starry Skies. That must be Dragon Quest Nine. You going back to Tickington? That was a yellow taco. Hello. Hello. The desert hunt. Oh. Okay. I like how I don't have to pick it up anymore. In the original game, you had to go pick it up, but now it automatically picks up. Oh, hey, cow. Hello, cow.
at night it'll the skies will clear. All right, so we need to go up here. There's more atmosphere in the 3D version, you know. That's why I like it a little more. Plus, you can kind of pick and choose. The only thing I don't like is the fact that the enemies aren't quite as uh, aggressive enough for me. I think they should run after you a little more. Hmm. Our buddy's hanging out with me. Oh, check that out. It's a lighthouse. Off in the distance. Oh, wow. Alright, muddy hand, muddy hand. Okay, I see what needs to be done now. I need to go down here. Through here, and... The chest should be... Right there. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, look at, look, look at that. He's like running at me. Crap. Whatever, we can take him. Um, let's see. Frizz. Oh, cool. Crack. Cool it. Oh, he's really tough. A were tiger. Score one for the good guys. That was a splatty punk. Okay, so. Is the, the fast battle, the ultra fast is on. Crap, I was trying to do a handy heal. Still admit, lo losing sight of where I need to go. Okay, so I need to go up here. And then Gondolia should be right there. That was quick, actually. That wasn't too fast. That wasn't too long. I think the 2D version took longer. Because you're not able to avoid the enemies. Alright, Gondolia, here we are. Cole. Alright, here we are. Gondolia. The entrance tunnel. It's a long entrance. Where's my buddies at? Oh, they're not here. Alright, so that's Gondolia. Yeah, it's kind of like Italy, isn't it? It looks like uh, like Venice, kind of. There's like a muscle bodybuilding. What a beautiful place! It feels as though the whole town is bobbing up and down on the waves. Yeah, it does. So this is Gondolia, huh? I heard there were some big scores to be had here. Rich merchants from all over the world, ships full of treasure, you name Not for you to steal, huh? And this is where you're keeping your ship, Silvando. The ship that you own. Don't tell me you're some kind of millionaire. <gasps> oh, come now, Ronnie, darling. You know it's not polite to pry. Ronnie. <laughs> all right. The docks are in the southwest of the town. Last one there's a rotten egg. And Lumi's just standing back, like, what the heck? Who's that kid? <laughs> like staring at me. All right, so there's sure to be lots of good stuff to buy. Uh, are my party still here? How's it going? Let's see. The rainbow has already left a gondolia. Damn. Uh, why is she all sad? Ah. <laughs> uh, 
Just really rich. Did you want to talk to this place couldn't be more different from Arborea. Oh, she wants to go shopping. Gosh. How wonderful. All right, cool. So, oh, this guy has a quest for us. Buy the famous product from Older Town. Oh, it's not a quest. He's just got a hint. Uh, look at that guy. That's me when I'm trying to sell people Dragon Quest XI. <laughs> Hello. The gondola. You can board under stairs when you're in the boat. You can go. Oh. I can ride a boat around the town. Neat. This town's big, actually. Well, wow, that's really big. I should go save at the church. Oh, a cat suit. 10,000 gold. I don't have 10,000 gold. Ew. The, the, the cat suit. You want the cat suit for your little, little girl you have with you. Because you like dressing up like a cat for some reason. I don't think I ever got the cat suit in the original, actually. All right, we'll head on out. There's so much to explore around here. All right, what, what are you doing to him? Oh, he's just, he just pushing his work, his worker. Man, this guy's so weak, he can't pick that up. Oh, he's sending the money to his mom. Oh, that reminds me, not, not really a mom, but I gotta go see that girl at the bakery. Let's go find the bakery and see where she is. His friend is the best merchant in Gondolia. <laughs> What's the point of telling me about him if you don't know where he is? Oh, where is he? I have no idea. I don't know much about him. I thought he was your friend. Mm, okay, whatever. Let's move onwards. Where's that bakery? Hello? The rope between the roofs. Oh, so you can walk up, you can walk all across from the, the rooftop. Interesting. Is there a way to get to the roof? I want to walk across that rope on the roof. Oh, there's a chest down there. And the entrance to the chest is locked by a gate, most likely. Oh, maybe this is the sister. Oh, that's Akia. So that's uh, Hakim's sister. Here you go. Ah, uh, he gave her thousand. He gave her a few gold coins. I'm not even looking at me when she's talking. Oh, I gotta go all the way back to get this to Hakim. Oh, he doesn't work at she doesn't work at the bakery anymore. Oh, well, where does she work now? At this place. Well, that's unfortunate. He was so excited that she worked at the bakery, and now she doesn't work there anymore. Oh, yeah, where's where's I supposed to go? I was going to climb that rope, right? Yeah, if I go into that building and go to the roof, I could probably climb the rope. Oh, you can't even go in there. What am I supposed to do here, then? Maybe I can go in here. Here we go. That door unlocks, and this old man just standing there like, What the hell? This guy just barged into my freaking house. He's got a lot of expensive wine and stuff here. Asido Doge Rotondo. Oh. Alright, let's... Climb upwards. Wow. This guy's probably rich. Uh, oh, there's a book here. 
Villagers of Tondo, the best in the business. Gondolier was a sleepy port town, but in the course of the last decade, it has been transformed into the greatest trade capital of Erdrea. The Mayor Doge, or Doge, or whatever. It's a dog. The, the, the meme dog. Uh, Pitch Pearl. Very good, very nice. Oh wow, it's bright out. Okay. A lot of exploring to do. Let's head on over here. There's gotta be some clues around here. Competition. Hmm. All right, let's see what's going on down here. This looks like some sort of bazaar. Some sort. Uh-oh. He was too shy. There goes Signore, please. That must be your mom. She has nice glasses. And you have your own ship. Then again, speed isn't everything. She was always on the move on account of her husband's job. It'd be nice to take things a little slowly. Huh. She can come with us, I guess. Problem. Hmm. Ah, uh, he has a cat suit. What's with all these guys with cats at 12,000? One guy was selling over 10,000. Oh, 9,800. Nah. 200 off? That's bull. That was his brother. Oh, she makes the shoes. Wow. These people think Gondolia is the best place in the world. Alright, I have a feeling we should go down here. The enormous ship in the dock is probably Savando. The Wandering Wonder. There's no many people who can buy this kind of ship. So Savando is freaking rich as hell. Uh, where's that giant ship they're talking about? I don't see it. Alright, well, I feel like we should go here. <laughs> can you believe it? This mean, mean man won't let us into the docks. Why not? It's nothing personal. The docks are off limits for everybody now. It's because of la competizione. The competition. Great. So I guess we just have to sit tight till this contest thing is over, huh? He looks so pretentious wearing that outfit. Like honestly, he should just wear like something normal. See, is the only choice. I am sorry, but Senor Universo is molto, molto importante event for people of Gondolia. That's Mr. Universe competition, that's what it is, right? Senor Universo, you say? Now that sounds like fun. Tell me more, honey. I'm all ears. Naturalmente. <laughs> Senor Universo is for men of all ages. The winner, he must be a powerful like the waves, graceful like the breeze, and deep like the sea. La competizione is the reason why Gondolia is so filled with the strong and admirable men in this moment. Okay. Ooh, I love a little pageantry. Come on, darlings, let's go see what it's all about. We can sample some local delicacies to get ourselves in the mood. I hear they're to die for. Well, who's with me? Come on, you know you want to. I'm not that bothered about whatever silly contest they're having. But I am quite peckish. I'd love to try a few local treats. You want to go eat? Seriously? We're not here on holiday, you know. We're supposed to be looking for the rainbow. Right, Serena? And of course. <laughs> you want. Well, um. Boots over there. I'm so sorry. But I'm really rather hungry myself, and. Well. We can't leave until the contest's over anyway. 
So they're gonna be going shopping. Look at Ronica skipping over. I don't believe this. Hey, listen. We're kind of in a hurry here. And we really need to get to the dock. Do you know who's in charge of this contest? Naturalmente. The person in the charge is Dojo Rotondo. He is in the charge of everything in our town. Doge, Doge. His villa is in the northeast part of Gondolia. You must speak with him. He is so much a kind man. Molto gentile. You heard the man. Let's go ask this Doge guy to let us into the dock. The Doge guy. All right, so we're gonna go find the Doge now. And it's just me and Eric right now. Yeah. You know, I've been thinking. Yep, just the two of us now. Like old times. Oh, look. Cakes. She just wants to eat the cake. Oh, hi, Chief. It's so frustrating. She wants to buy new shoes, but when she liked, we're all too big for her. And the children's ones are ridiculous. She's got little boots on. <laughs> yeah, it must suck having the uh, adult tastes, but she doesn't have the, the right size for them. Oh no. Well, I feel bad for him because his parents got killed, but I'm not the dark spawn. It's not my fault, okay? He's kind of giving me the eyes. And the purple spot should be where we need to go. Oh, what she need to say? Doge Rotondo's little son. So the Doge must be live here. Yeah, that's his house. This must be the place. Let's see if he's home. Oh, he's there. Uh, hey. We're looking for the Doge. We need to ask him a favor. Bene. I am Doge Rotondo. Always I am happy to help. Oh, he knows. <laughs> he knows. I have nothing to say to you. Niente. Now you must go. Andate via. He knows I'm the luminary crap. He must have seen my picture or something. What the? F hey, wait! So much for Malto Gentile. I've met kinder judges. He took one look at you and freaked out, huh? Wait, you don't think? Nah, how would he know you were on the run? And why just you? Huh. Carne uh, King Carnelian must have uh, warned him. To get herself into a bit of a scrape. Please, you have to come and help. Oh, Veronica's in trouble again. Uh, man, you can't take that kid anywhere. Still, I guess we won't be sailing out of here anytime soon. Might as well go see what's up. Give it back, you dirty, rotten thief! It's not like you can use it anyway. A kid like you wouldn't have the first idea what to do with a wand. <laughs> Why no? You are the kid, just like me. Anyway, I only borrow, no steal. Okay, he's like, he's still her wand. What's going on here, Serena? We were just walking along when he came out of nowhere and snatched her wand. We caught up with him here, but he won't give it back. Oh. Eric's thief, abil thief abilities are going to come in handy now. Steals it. Don't let it get swiped so easily next time. Hmm. But why did you even want my wand in the first place? It's not worth much money, you know. I, uh... Hmm? What is it, kid? Spit it out.
It's okay, Placido. I explain the situation. My name is Benigno. He is my friend, Placido. He's the only son of the Doge Rotondo. That's the Doge's son. Every day we are playing together. Molto felice. Happy, happy. But then Placido, he loses his voice. I don't understand what happened. I ask, but he cannot answer. Oh, so he lost his voice. So I think, if I have the magic, maybe I can fix Placido's voice. Capisce? Hmm. Fine, you're forgiven. Now, tell me more about your friend's lost voice. It's his throat. There's some sort of... Awful. Oh, he's been cursed. Poor thing. So he's got a curse? I might be able to help him if I had some birdsong nectar. But I'd need some water from a sacred fountain to make it, and, well... <gasps> you needed the special, very, very holy water to help Placido, see? I hear people talking about something like this. The river, west of Gondolia. If you follow it up, there is a cave. The Grotta della Fonte. Everybody say its water is molto special. There's a holy water f um, fountain up, up north. I know I steal the wand. And I know this is very bad. But per favore, you must help Placido. We are friends since we are the small children. Bambini piccoli. All children. And now you are his only hope. You will help him, see? See? Yeah, sure, we'll, we'll help him. What if I say no? You heartless monster. It's not like you're busy or anything. This is an innocent child we're talking about. Help me. <laughs> Less monster. It's not like you're busy or anything. This is an innocent child we're talking about. Help him. He's really pissed off at me. Okay, fine. Grazie mille, signore. You bring her the water from the grotta and make the special nectar. And I will stay to take care of Placido. Alright, so that's fine. We'll uh look at Placido's face. All right, so let's see what we need to do. Scusa is bad. Placido is like my brother. All right, that's nice. At least he has some camaraderie with Placido. Mmm. He can't say anything because he's cursed. Uh, let's see what the, let's see what the gang thinks. When uh, Benigo, oh, she's always a dirty street thief. Alright, that's good. Let's head off. Heading off into the wilderness. Oh, so we gotta go back out again. Alright, so Placido, we need to help his voice so that maybe the doge, the doge will, uh, maybe he'll reward us with something. With letting us through to get our darn boat. So we can get the rainbow. This is just one diversion after another after another. Like the rainbow was originally there and now it's here and then it went past here. Alright, so. Let me think, where do we need to go? The Grotto del Fonte, that's over there. Oh, no, you tiger people can't, cannot follow me. Oh, what do we got here? A handful of glass frit. You know, if you got a handful of that, wouldn't that kind of cut your hand up a little bit? Okay, this is a difficult section, I remember. There's a lot of stuff here to get, collect. Roto della Fonte. Um, yeah, there's, oh, well, there's a lighthouse. You can see the beams going across. There's a lot of stuff to collect here in this area. Hmm. 
Oh, there's a shell slime. Oh, I can't jump down there. Oh, these frogs. I hate those guys. There's a lot of nasty monsters around here. Oh, I can't get that until I have a, a special mount. That'll let me get it. Nope. Oh, no, no. I'm trying to escape. Oh, there's a taco over there. Alright, so we're heading on through here. And through here. Oh, there's a chest here. If you look at that. Slender Sword of Solid Silver. Oh, silver swords now I can make. That's cool. Let's go, team. Whoever put the curse on the poor boy deserves to be beaten to a pulp. <laughs> I mean, she, she does like beating people to a pulp. Oh, there's something hidden behind the waterfall. Now wait. Yeah, that's where the, the cave is. It's behind the waterfall. Like in Dragon Quest Eight. Hmm. They still following me around? Oh, where'd they go? Our hero's adoptive mother and Chucky's adoring daughter. Ah. There's some lore there, but I don't want too fast to read it. I remember this 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 dungeon was actually kinda of difficult. You get you get ambushed a lot. Like, like that. Small scale. Oh crap. Get away, get away. Oh, look at that little friendly, guys. Oh, wait, they're not friendly at all. They're trying to attack me. Oh, there's a lot of baddies here. Oh, here we go. Oh, crap! See, I told you that people ambush you in this in, in this uh, dungeon. Alright, alright. We want to hit the shell slime while its shell is still up. And we'll sizz these two. Oh wait, I gotta save my energy. I know, I know there's a boss coming up. In fact, I should have, I should have uh, stayed at the. Well, I mean, I'm, it's kind of cheating because I already played this game before. I know what's coming up. There's gonna be a campsite coming up soon, so we don't really need to worry about that too much. Name slash this guy. I'll just do bang. Okay, he's dead. And he's dead. Good job, team. Was this worth it? A handful of glass for it. Yeah, that was worth getting attacked over. I wonder what happens if you do this. They're supposed to, if you do uh, heal all, even though everyone's healed, then you apparently win something. Oh, uh, there's no there's no achievements in this game, so I, I didn't get anything. Man of the sea. Oh crap. All right, we're just gonna dash on through, and here's another resting spot. Okay, not bad. And here's a spot to save also.
Now let's continue the adventure. Oh crap. Hmm. All right. Let's keep uh, keep venturing into the. There's some fungals here. I wonder if this area is worth worth uh, exploring at all. Oh, there's a fungal following me around. Here we go. That's the next boss. Forget what it's called. Oh, but what is this? A magic rope. It is glowing after all. Will I be ambushed if I go into there? Okay, okay. Was it worth it? A seed of magic. Yeah, that was worth it. Oh, crap. Let's flee. Nope. Oh, he did a little... Oh, wow! Alright, we, we might as well... Might as well attack. Oh, I did not mean to do that. Kill him, kill him. <laughs> nice. Easy peasy, indeed. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Okay, so we got a seed of magic. So we're gonna be using that, of course, on my my main girl, Veronica. Uh, where's that seed of magic? There we go. All right, now Serena has a lot more than Veronica. Veronica needs more. Ooh. Now let me check out everybody's uh everybody's magic. So Silvano doesn't have any. Silvando doesn't have his reheal. Cockadoodle do oomph accelerate. I'm gonna need uh, Serena next round. Alright, so let's do lineup. Let's try making Swap Serena with Sylvan. I kind of want to keep... I gotta keep somebody, so... Who's gonna leave? I could get rid of myself, but... I'm gonna get rid of... Eric, I think. Actually, Eric has has a good move also. They're both really good. Sorry, Veronica. I know uh, we're fans of you, but... We gotta get, bring your sister in. She's got the skills needed. So... Alright, this looks good. I think we can take him on. Let's go. Maybe we could we could work something out. We don't have to fight the core losses. Is. All right, so flame slash. Uh, I'm gonna use the rubble rouser ability on each of these guys. What? Why is she doing that? All right, so Rubble Rouser on him too. And we can Sizz both of them. Thank you for the heal. Oh, he's tough. Don't hit the Luminary. I should heal myself, but I think Serena's gonna do it anyways. There's no point. Carrying. Oh, she healed herself. Yeah, that's not good. Okay, I've got to have a medicinal herb for for the main character. Don't die on me. That's a good thing to say. Yeah, we're doing we're doing all right so far. Oh, wow. Oh, 
forbearance he's using. Change Rubble Riser on him now. And we use Sizz on both of these guys, these goons. Oh, he's, he's attacking Eric. Okay, they do not like him. Reheal's a really good move because it heals every every move that it heals. Our, that's rock. Okay, I know what pep power does. I'm not new. Right, I'm gonna heal Eric and hopefully Serena heals me. Thank you. Oh, he missed. Nice. Oh, nice. You know, this means pet power time. Scorched Earth. The real ego. Scorched Earth is what you want. Yes, and it worked on both of them. Oh, we might actually win this one. Thank you for the assist. Scorched Earth is doing really good, actually. Ah, he, he deflected it. Nice. Alright, cool. Score Shirts is, is in motion right now, so we're gonna do a Flame Slash on this guy. That didn't do anything. Sizz on these guys. Score Shirts was, was a really good move. I, oh, he killed him. I always use it on the bosses. Alright. No, not Rubble Rouser. I'm gonna go Flame Slash him. Fortress will probably kill him in the next round. Nice. That, that was almost like cheating. It was so good. The core losses are defeated. Wow, we all survived. And Veronica, she leveled up. The Dazzle. Uh, no, we'll use that later. Order for joining forces with your friends to perform ten, 10 pet powers. Nice. Let's see what the team has to say. Well, I don't need to do that anymore. I can just... Did you want to talk to me? I can just walk up to them and talk to them now. Oh, hello. <sighs> not good for his hair. It's, not, it's kind of clammy in here, huh? This isn't good for my hair, you know. Ah, uh, this must be the water they were talking about. Just look at this beautiful water. It's so clear. This will be perfect for making birdsong nectar. Nice. Birdsong nectar, here we go. There we are, all done. Now. Let's head back to Gondolia and see if we can cure dear little Placida. So she even has a little bottle with a bird on it. But I'll take that bird song nectar. Cool. By the way, bird song nectar is a reference to different Dragon Ghost 4. There's a similar a similar quest where the king lost his voice and you need to find bird song nectar for him. It was Elena's quest. Oh, what's this? Hmm. This is very curious. So there must have been some people down here before. All right, so we could probably zoom from here to Gondolia. And in this game, you don't hit your head on the ceiling when you try zooming. I always thought it was funny that you could do that, that you hit your head on the ceiling, but they got rid of it. All right, so we're back at Gondolia. Let's go get this to that kid and have the Doge be in indebted to us for the rest of his life. Oh wow, the, the, the contest must be starting. really got 
going while we were away? Oh, this is just too, too exciting! I can't wait to see the first contestant take the stage! Listen, boys, I want front row seats for this, so let's get organized. You two go and muscle your way to the front of the crowd and save us a space. Oh, you want us to muscle our way? Meanwhile, me and the girls will go put a song back into little Placido's throat. Ooh, I can't wait to see his happy little face. Ciao for now. All right. <sighs> Eric's always doing that. So we get lumbered with the grunt work again, huh? Uh, whatever. Let's just head over to the contest and see what's what. Yeah, sure thing. Oh, hello there, you. Haven't you got a spot for us in the contest yet? The big stage in the middle of City Square. She's being a smartass with me. Alright, we'll head on over. Alright. So many people everywhere. It's a big surprise. All these shopkeepers everywhere. There's a lot going on. Wait, wait, wait what did she have to say? The champion last year, Hercules or Luciano with a beautiful voice. Alright, let's head on over. Oh shit! It's Jasper! Oh, thank you. He's complimenting my hairstyle. Surely you are entering la competition, you see? It's a, such a waste if you not take part. Oh, I can enter, I guess. Listen, Gramps, I know we're easy on the <laughs> eye, but we don't have time. We're easy on the eye. Uh oh. Uh oh. Not not good. Hey, does that guy look familiar? That's Jasper. To this is not good. I had thought to search the town for you while the citizenry were occupied with this idiotic spectacle. But no. Instead, you choose to saunter up and greet me in broad daylight. Brazen fools. Damn it, it is. It's him. People of Gondolia, listen and listen. Jasper, Knight of Heliodor and trusted retainer of His Majesty, King Carnelian. Come before you to tell you that the very Darkspawn himself is among us. The bedeviled child who brought about the destruction of Dundrasil. This is not good. Let's get out of here. All right, time to run. Oh, it's, it's the Helidori Knights. Oh, we're surrounded. Come quietly, accursed one, and I may not be inclined to make you suffer. Oh, man, we've done it now. Oh, oh wow, we have to fight a bunch of guys now. Oh my, we have to fight five knights? I'm pretty sure you have to lose this match, actually. I'm pretty sure that's what, that's what was going on. Oh, just, uh, just two of us this time. Alright, parrying attacks. Oh, see that? Sizzing these three guys. Oh man. I got, I got your back. Or he's got my back. Yikes. Okay. And that, that guard keeps assessing the situation. Oh, nice. Forced Earth. Alright, now they don't stand a chance against us. Of 
Scorched Earth. Yikes, okay. Oh, okay, not good. Well, Easy. he's deflecting it, though. Maybe, maybe Eric can beat them. Oh, he's actually doing really good against them. He's dead. He's dead. See how good Rubble Rouser is? Or that Scorched Earth is? You want some? Eric beat all these guys by himself. Another one bites the dust. Man, Eric's badass. Welp. Damn it. They just keep coming. Not gonna make a difference. Your pathetic resistance will get you nowhere. Yield and spare us the yield. I don't think so, honey. Uh oh, you leave my friends alone, or I'm going to have to teach you a lesson. Yeah, honey. <laughs> Who are these imbeciles? And how did they get past the car? I'm gonna kick some ass. Against Jasper. Imbeciles, you say? We'll soon see who's the stupid one. Broncos fireballs. <laughs> so you have friends, Darkspawn. Not for long. Fan out, men. Oh, it's, there's Serena. Psst. This way, quickly. Well, I guess we should escape. While he's not looking, we can sneak out the side. Huh? All right, Jasper, you idiot. You lost us. Your long ponytail. Oh no, Eric! He got hit! Eric. He's hurt. What are you doing? I bought you some time. Use it. Get out of here now. I'll leave him behind. What? Serena just grabbed we left Eric behind. Oh no. That's not- that's not good. They got Eric. How am I gonna do Scorched Earth without him? And destroy all the bosses? So... Gondolia is completely overrun by the Heliodorian guards. Oh, this is bad. Hope we're hiding somewhere. Oh, there we are. Looks like we're safe for now. We were lucky to get out of there, you know? But we didn't all make it out. Poor Eric, he... Oh, I can't imagine what they'll do to him. Oh, don't worry, sweetie. Eric's tougher than he looks. I think... You, yeah, you barely know him. That Jasper was talking some nonsense, though, huh? I mean... Why call the one who's trying to beat the Dark One, the Darkspawn? Honey, that's just confusing. He isn't really the Darkspawn. That's just what the King of Heliodor thinks. It's all some terrible misunderstanding. I'm ever so sorry, Silvando. We should have explained all this to you earlier, but, well, so much has been going on. Oh, please, there's no need to apologize, darling. Darkspawn, indeed. As if a lovely little thing like you would go around with someone like that. Oh, okay. Oh, Silvando. Now, are we gonna stand around here all night, or are we gonna take action, huh? Badass music. Intensifies. Let's sneak up to that bridge in the middle of town and see if we can spot where they're keeping Eric. Be quiet as mice now. And use the buildings for cover. The streets are crawling with soldiers. In fact... Let's see if we can get up onto the rooftops through the inn. That might be the best route to the bridge. Okay, we need to sneak over to save Eric now. Now, this is like Metal Gear section, but 
Am I... Oh, I'm all healed up anyway. I should probably save. But there's no church around, is there? And there's only guards around here. Oh, crap. There's two guards over there. There's a guard there, and there's a guard down there. We can sneak around here. Guard over there. Crap. Okay, we gotta hide here. Go down here. Oh crap, there's there's cars down there. This is not good. I, I don't know where to go. Really, I'm really not sure where to go. Oh crap, he's looking here. This is this is really hard to, hard to do without getting caught. Maybe we could sneak around here or not. This is gonna take a lot of thought. Actually, I can sneak into here, can't I? Ah, oh, it's locked. Uh, I thought I would be able to sneak in there. Ah, oh, here we go. I can sneak down here. They're afraid of me. I'm not the dark spawn, I'm just a guy. Stop there! Okay, uh... Let's see, let's look around the corner there. And there. Looks like we're in the clear. Ugh. Two of them right there. They're watching. Okay. And there's one right there. past him and into here you may be the dark spawn but we are all equal in the eyes of the heavens if you wish to pray pray go I'm gonna save here yeah I'll save there all right so you know what this uh Seems like a good spot to stop and end this episode. We'll continue next time to save Eric. Right now, everyone's terrified of us. So, yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.